Here's a lick inspired by Jimi Hendrix, something you might hear him play in Red House or another slow blues. Let's hear what it sounds like. Two, three. <laughs> break this down. We're in the key of B flat. So I'm starting with a pickup as a triplet, which is blues 101. So I'm going to start on the third string with a bend from the 8th to the 10th fret, and then bar across strings 2 and 1 at the 6th fret. And then from there, I slide from the B flat up to this B flat. And the reason I do that is because I want to add vibrato, but it's hard to add vibrato on the high string. So I found out that a lot of guitar players go and play the string, the, the note on the next string, because it's a lot easier to add vibrato on the second string. A side leg. So I go up to B flat here with a slide, and I add vibrato to it. My next note is up here, D flat at the ninth fret of the first string. And I don't leave any of these notes alone. I have to tickle each one to do something a little bit to it. So I bend it up just slightly. Okay, the second lick is, is a descending B flat minor pentatonic scale starting on the B flat. I'm going to descend, but notice I'm going to use all downstrokes. It gives it more power. When I get to the bottom, I'm going to slide down to D natural. And even though I'm stopping on that note, and typically Jimi Hendrix would add vibrato to every note he stopped on, I'm not going to add it on this. Just let it sit there. That's what he did. I figured it's good enough for him. It's good enough for me. Now I'm going to do another Hendrix inspired lick that's been played by a lot of people, but I just love it. So now check this out. I'm going to start by bending an A flat to a B flat on the second string with my third finger, but I'm supporting the bend with my first and second fingers. Now watch. While I'm pushing this string up, I'm gathering the third string underneath the second string. Then I lift my second finger up and hit the third string and come down on that. So I'm bending one up and pushing it into another one, which is bending it up as well. I come down on the third string. Play the the D flat here at the 6th fret of the 3rd string, and then finally a big bend with a Hendrix vibrato at the top. Now, there's some things here that I'm doing with my right hand that I think um, could use some explanation. The first thing is, I like to play this style using just my fingers. One of the reasons being is, since I can play fast, it keeps me in under control, so I'm going to put my pick down here. I'm going to play this just with my fingers. I think when I get under the strings, I pull them off the fretboard and let them snap like a rubber band. It gives it more of a funky feel. Also, if I hit the strings right, I get some harmonics in there. Just little tricks. And all those downstrokes now, I'm playing with my thumb. Then, 
I'm bending, check it out. I'm bending my, I'm using my little finger now, I'm bending this, the note up on the second string. But notice I have my thumb on the third string so I don't get any, get any extraneous noise. And when I decide to come down or let the uh, third string release bend, I'm using my index finger to block the second string. So I'm actually, even though I'm playing two strings, I'm only allowing one to ring. Keeps everything a lot more tidy, don't you, don't you think? And then vibrato. Now watch. When I'm adding vibrato, I do this. I, I bend the note up. And I'm also keeping my thumb on the third finger so I don't get any of this. Which to me is, is... I don't like that. It sounds kind of like an elephant. So if I keep my thumb on here and bend the note, it keeps it nice and clean. Then I'm adding the classic vibrato, which I'm doing by like this. There's another way to do vibrato. A lot of ways, but here's one way. I'm bending the note up with my third finger supported by my first and second fingers. Now, in order to add the vibrato, when I get the note bent to pitch, I'm going to loosen my grip a little bit and let it fall. When I hear it falling just a little bit, I'll tighten my grip and push it back up again. If you do it fast enough, it gives a vibrato sound rather than an up, down, up, down. Interesting trick. There you go. Two, three.